Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Vinny. Today we're going to go full madhouse scientist. We're taking all the crank windows in my house, 12 of them, and turning them into a fully automated, home assistant powered, smart windows that open and close themselves. This idea originally came from Dr. Z's. He used an ESP32, which is awesome, but I wanted something more plug and play for your everyday user. So I use a Zeus Zen 52 DC motor controller, and then, well, it escalated quickly. I ended up designing an entire 3D printed housing, mirrored versions, custom covers, wiring, switches, safety logic, and even a home assistant blueprint. So yeah, this project got big. Before we get into the parts, let me explain why I did this. Reason one, cooling efficiency. In Minnesota, we get days where inside is hotter than the outside. Instead of just running my AC, I wanted the windows to just open themselves. Reason two is air quality. When my cooking or something smokes up, instead of me doing the towel fanning dance, I wanted the windows to crack open immediately. And then reason three is safety. If the smoke detectors or the CO detectors go off, the system automatically opens every window. More airflow, more escape paths, just safer overall. And then reason four, honestly, because it's cool. Let's be real. All right, let's talk parts. I did this for 12 windows, so the quantities sound huge, but you can do this for one or two or however many you want. Here's what I used. I used the Zeus Zen 52 Z-Wave motor controller. I used the Bring Smart 12 volt DC motors, which has a 12 RPMs. They also come with metal motor brackets. And then I use a universal couplers. Mine were eight millimeters to 10 millimeters, but you need to make sure you measure your window crank first. And you can do that using a caliper. And then I also have a 12 volt five amp power supplies that I picked off of Amazon. And then also a momentary rocker switch for manual control on the outside of the housing. You can pick these up. Usually they're for like boats um, or other 12 volt systems. For tools, I have a spade connectors. I use the Wago connectors. I use a drill, a measuring caliper, and then of course a 3D printer. If you don't have a printer, you can always order off a PCB way and they can print them for you. They're a great source for a lot of smart home stuff. This is the part that took the longest. I worked with a designer that I hired off of Fiverr and we spent about a month dialing this in. We ended up with a system that's strong, compact, easy to print, and it's adaptable for different window layouts. Some windows needed the motor on one side, others needed it mirrored. So we created a standard housing, and then we also created an inverse mirrored housing. Same thing for the motor adapter. We also made a standard version and a mirrored version. Then we made screw-on mount covers, a top motor cover, and then also a back motor cover. This gives the whole thing a super clean, professional look, and they stay rigid because they're screwed on and not snapped on. All the SC files, including the inverse versions, are available on my website, which will be in the description. Okay, now the assembly. Do this in the exact order, and trust me, it'll save you some headaches. First step is to attach the motor bracket to the motor adapter. Do not tighten the screws yet. Step two is attach the motor adapter to the housing, keeping everything loose again. Step three is to install the motor onto the bracket, then slide the coupler onto the motor shaft. Step four is you wanna test fit this at the window. This is the most important part. Take the whole assembly to the window, connect the coupler to the crank, Adjust everything until it's lined up perfectly straight. Once it's aligned, make sure you mark the mounting location on the actual window cell. That marking step is huge, don't skip it. Step five is to remove the motor, mount the housing first, because once you assembled it, you cannot reach these screws again. And then step six is reassemble. So tighten the adapter screws, install the motor again, and check the alignment one more time. Step seven is to install your top and back covers with the screws. Now it looks clean and finished. So here's the wiring layout. On the Zen 52 motor wires, you're gonna connect those up to the motor terminals. S1 and S2, which is, stands for switch one and switch two, you're gonna connect those to the momentary switch. And then you have the positive and ground coming out of the DC motor control and those are going to go directly to the power supply. The momentary switch has three terminals. The middle terminal is the positive wire. The left is for switch one and the right is for switch two. You're going to use a triple Wago connector to split the positives between the power supply, the Zen 52 motor controller, and the switch. Your power supply likely will have a barrel connector so there's no need of cutting wires or soldering them together. Once everything is connected and wired, this is when you want to include the Zen 52 into your Z-Wave network. Okay, the hardware is cool, but the automations, that's where this turns into magic. We have cooling logic. If the outside air is cooler than indoors, the windows will open. If the AC turns on, the windows will close. We have cooking logic. If air quality drops or the kitchen fills with smoke, windows will crack open automatically. Fire and carbon monoxide safety. If the alarm goes off, every window in the house opens. No hesitation. This alone is worth doing the project. You have geofencing. When I leave the house, all the windows will close automatically. Have different modes. Have a maintenance mode. Hard 
lockout mode, partial opening, cooking vent mode, everything you'd want. Now let's talk about the Home Assistant Blueprint. The Blueprint includes logic for weather, temperature comparison, geofencing, lockout logic, manual overrides, AC state, smoke and CO sensors, cooking air quality triggers, the Zen 52 error and fault sensors, window groupings, position tracking, and priority logic. So the highest priority rule always wins. And yes, you'll be able to download the blueprint and use it in your own setup. So that's it. 12 smart windows, custom housing, wiring, switches, and a full home assistant automation system. This project genuinely changed how my home runs day to day. All the STL files, wiring diagrams, and the blueprints are on my website. If you want a part two, drop a comment. In the spring, I plan on installing a smart whole home fan that will integrate directly into the smart window project. I want to thank Zeus for helping create this project. Without their support, this wouldn't have been possible. Make sure you head over to thesmartesthouse.com where you can go ahead to the Amazon links in the description. I have over 90 Z-Wave devices in my home and 95% of them are Zeus. I wouldn't recommend them if I wasn't completely satisfied with their products. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project.